Hey guys, this is kind of an update video to show the new snakes that I got recently. I got them a couple weeks ago, and you guys haven't seen them yet. So, the new snakes are from Randy Whittington, and I will go through and show each of them. First things first, these Flavi Rufas, you know, the Mexican night snakes. Alright, so here is one of the Mexican night snakes. This is the female. She's a het for anerythristic or xanthic. Very pretty snake. This is actually not mine. It's technically going to be my sister's. She bought it, but I'll probably take care of it and all that. I'll probably be the one to feed it and clean its cage. But these are really cool looking with that zigzag there on the body. There's a little bit of one there too. Pretty unique. So that's the one heterozygous for anerythristic or xanthic. And here is the male which is an anerythristic. How's that for an anery? <laughs> I love these though. Anneries are awesome. But so those are Mexican night snakes. Flave Rufas. Here's another one of the new snakes. It's a little trinket rat snake. I'll get it in. I have two of these. Randy is a really awesome, nice guy. Um, I was getting a pair of mandarin rat snakes as well, but they're not feeding, so he's going to try to keep them until after they've been hibernated and see if they'll eat better then and then ship them to me. And since that delay and all on top of the great deals he gave me, he threw in this trinket rat snake for free. It's a little female very pretty snake. I love them, especially when they puff up their neck. This one doesn't do it as much as the other. I'll show you the other one. It's a bit lighter colored than this one. But, sadly, the other one, the one that I was going to buy, had an issue a day or so after I got it. So I'll show you it and talk about that. There's the other one. She's looking better. Now, what happened was she had a prolapse. Um, after, I've, after I had had her maybe 12 hours or so, my sister came in and checked on her. And, yeah, she had prolapsed. Um, for those of you that don't know what that means, it means uh, part of its internal organs for whatever reason, were hanging out of its vent. So it had, you know, a pink blob hanging out right there, out of its cloaca. And it really worried me. I hadn't encountered that before. Um, so I tried, you know, to just let it go back in on its own. I thought maybe it would. And then it, when it didn't, after 24 hours, I really started getting worried. I mean, in that time, I kept the cage really moist to help it not dry out, but I'm hoping no tissue damage was done. After that didn't work, I eventually just did what I, you know, some of my friends told me, you know, to gently push it back in. So with the aid of uh, sexing probes, I was able to push it back in, and the swelling went down. So it looks a lot better right now. It's, there's not a big lump around there, but. I'm hoping it hasn't been damaged from being out exposed to the air for that long. 
Not really sure. Hope not. Oop. This one will really puff up the neck sometimes. Let's see if she'll do it. There we go. Isn't that awesome? These are really cool. Trinket rat snake. They stay small. So, yeah. Hopefully she'll make it. I really hope so. I hate to lose an animal. Especially one as pretty as her. So, alright. So those are the trinket rats. And last but not least, the pair of my new McQuard's Beauty Snakes. Okay, so that's the male. It's just a beautiful snake. Awesome looking. He's het for albino, so, and the female is an albino, so it's just awesome. Let me get a close up of it. How's that for a beauty snake? These are just awesome. And they get prettier as they grow. This is just a yearling, though. These don't get as big as the, my Taiwan's will, or my Blue Beauty will. But they get bigger than the Chinese beauties and a few others of the subspecies, but they're definitely one of the smallest. So, that's the male het for albino and there's the female great looking albino I think Nice looking red eyes. She's just an awesome looking animal. Towards her head, kind of, you can kind of tell on the camera, it's not just a yellow, it's a yellow orange compared to the rest, which is more of just yellow with a white, kind of a lavender white. Makes me think of the lavender retics. Um, just beautiful looking. So, now I've got a pair of McQuard's Beauty Snakes. And that's all I've got from Randy from now until I get my Mandarin Rat Snakes. But those, like I said earlier, won't be in until after they've been brumated. Hopefully they'll start eating. And that's the new snakes, guys. Thanks for watching.